Brock Baseball. Yes, Brock Baseball. At the end of the video, I use my old moniker, but indeed, the name is Brock Baseball. So, I apologize for that faux pas, as it were. But now we're going to do our second video. Our second video of the day. Ugh. This will be covering the first base position, the 1913 World Series champion, Oakland Athletics. Will Angel or Buckley appear in this video? Well, I guess you'll have to wait to find out, but they look pretty comfortable in their spot, so that possibilities of that are going to be pretty low. But this is, before we get into today's category, we are going to do it how we do it all the time, every day. It's become a tradition on the Brock Baseball Network, and I enjoy doing it, and I hope you enjoy it too. The Unicorn Cup, and then this one, oh, I think it's the same. Okay, both sides are the same, but you can see it here. Drinking a good amount of coffee today. As today, I did go with the almond milk peppermint creamer, the non-dairy, and as I run out of that, I'll go to the... Uh, white chocolate peppermint bark conventional creamer because I am the kind of guy that can enjoy dairy and non-dairy products. Yes, but we are not talking about dairy or almond milk or goat milk today. We are talking about the 1913 World Series champion, Oakland Athletics, and specifically the standard fielding stats for the first base position. So let's get into it. No, they don't have a number for the average age of the first baseman, but they had a few couple of youngsters. They had an old savvy veteran, and then they had what could be considered a younger veteran on the team. So you can take and... Figure that one out for yourself. They played 153 games. I'm trying to pretend that I'm not looking at stuff. And they completed 149 innings fielded at first base, 1,359. Defensive chances, 1,670. Put outs, 1,570. 85 assists. 15 errors, 90 double plays, many of which had to be the classic 4-6-3. Fielding percentage, 99.1. That is some serious defense. And the range factor per game, we are looking at 10.4. Seven, And that was a look at the first base fielding stats of the 1913 World Series champion, Philadelphia Athletics. Now, if you enjoyed this, you can like and subscribe. It's free. And then you'll get notifications of the latest videos from Brock Baseball. Until then, enjoy your weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you all viewers and all subscribers, and thank you for some of the nice comments I've been getting on the videos. I enjoy those, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you, everyone.